Welcome back to my channel everyone, it's Michelle. I have a fun, easy Saturday flipbook for you. I was inspired on Pinterest by these flipbooks that I saw and of course I put a little spice in there, had to add lots more pockets because I know how much you all love pockets. So this is actually an easy kind of like one page wonder and um, it has so many tuck-ins and I think it's great flat mail depending how you stuff it. So here you start off with like a tab and you can open your book and here I've added a little pocket just to make it, I don't know, you don't have to add the pocket there, I guess depending on your paper. This paper is so beautiful, I didn't want to cover it, but I just thought I gave it a more soft look. And then when you open it, what you can do is take your little flip so it's not in the way and just turn it back. And then you've got, um, you can open it and then you have this. This is great for tags or, and you can cover that. I just left my brad because it didn't bother me, but if it does, you can cover it. Um, it's perfect for, you know, a tag or if you're doing scrapbooking, like a ticket, snail mail, you could do like a washi sample because it's kind of a thinner side pocket. Here I've added just like another page. I almost left this like it would be a card, but I had to add another pocket just for another tuck in spot. And then I added another one on the top. So it just looks pretty instead of plain. Uh, you know, just a little like, I thought it would be sweet to have a little quote that they can pull out. And then we've got one here another pocket and then when you close it actually here and I keep forgetting to do this so on the back you also have one as well so when you close it you just want to do that and this kind of sticks up and it's probably the way I place my brad I don't know maybe if you use cardstock it won't it doesn't really bother me but if that bothers you you can change it and then so on the back you'll have another pocket to add some more flat mail. Um, so it's a really fun, quick album, and I don't know, it's one of those fun one-page wonders that I know you all love. So go ahead and grab a 12 by 12 paper. Okay, and mine's gonna be super busy on both sides because that's just how it's gonna be today with these papers. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the, the length of this, okay? so. This is gonna, I want you to know, so like, this is gonna be like your top pocket, so just visualize it, this going down and this going up. So this is gonna go down, this is gonna go up. So we're gonna score it at three inches and eight inches. So three, it's gonna be our smaller side and eight. And again, you can always make this even if you want. It's just the way it kind of was in the tutorial that I had saw. And then you're gonna flip it and we're just gonna score it at four inches and nine inches. Now this is all really preference how big you want your pockets or your lid. Four and nine, because you can have the bigger one on the small and the other one's not. And I think I just did mine upside down. I sure did. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be upside down. Okay, so we're gonna have one, two, nine boxes here, okay? Now let me see how you guys will be able to see this. Um, okay, so we're gonna cut. So the, we're basically just cutting the top two slots and the bottom two slots, but we're gonna make it almost like a little triangle, so. Hold on, I'll show you. Because you wanted to have some wiggle room, so I'm gonna just cut that first slit. And then I'm gonna cut this part. And then you just want it to have a little wiggle room, so I'm going to just cut a really small slice in there. <clears throat> like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side wherever you need to make the incision. I kind of just eyeball it. And you're not gonna really be able to tell if it's even, so when you fold it. That one's a lot bigger, though, so let me just fix this one. Just a little bit. Okay, and then you're just gonna turn it around and do the same thing to that side. So I'm cutting a slit. So you're just gonna have that middle section holding this together. 
And again, just kind of cut a little triangle. I'm cutting another little triangle. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. And so when you open it, You've got it like this. And again, I just did mine upside down because my longer piece is actually on the top. So my print is going to be wonky. So whatever, like I said, whichever way you want it, like this is the longer side. I mean, this is the shorter side and this is the longer side. And that's how I did mine. Actually, I'm gonna put it this way because this way my print's gonna be okay. So basically all you're doing is taking your two ends, folding it like this. So these are gonna be your front pockets and then your back pocket is gonna go backwards. Like that. So that's too easy. I'm gonna do it one more time just because sometimes I get questions. <laughs> Okay, your paper, when it's done, it's going to look like that, okay? You're just taking this and this and folding it, taking this and this and folding it, and plus putting this in the back. That's too easy, right? And then you're just going to fold it in, and then you're going to fold this side in. It's going to look like this and then you have your back pocket right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I did round off all of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is not my rounder, <laughs> this is my disc punch. Hold on, let me get my corner rounder. So I'm just gonna go round and corner round all this, just so it's not so boxy. down glue that and you could put a little notch in if you want before you seal this and then you can do the same thing on this side oh I need to stay there for a minute So you see how this pocket is a lot smaller than this one, but that's what kind of makes it fun because the front flap, that's what makes it kind of have that uneven area so you can make that cute little tab. Okay, so it's going to go like that and like that and let's just do the back real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and round this off too. My son is really into bees right now. Um, I don't know if they're learning about it in school, but you know, save the bees, these poor little bees. I have to admit, I do not like bees. <laughs> not bees, I don't like wasps. And you know, last time I went to my husband's house in Alabama, I got stung by a yellow jacket, which was awful. I had never been stung by one of those. I have been stung before but um, never buy a yellow jacket. And I was talking like this with my hand and he got me right here. Like out of all the places on my hand, why that skin right there? <laughs> and I pulled that little sucker out and I don't think bees are the same as hornets, but oh goodness, my hand was swelled for like three days. Okay, but FYI, anyone who does that, you know what worked for me was baking soda. Like you make a paste and it definitely took the sting out and the poison. Okay, so here's that <laughs> on the next note. And then now we wanna make our little, let's do our tab first. So ooh, let me get over here. So for my tab, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just eyeball what I did here. So we're gonna just take it, kind of eyeball it, and I really just took a brad, and I always get questions about these. These are from Hobby Lobby. And let me show you the size of your tab. The tab is just gonna be a two by three paper. You could even make it a little smaller. I feel like this was a little bit larger. I'm just corner rounding it. And I'm just gonna pick a brad, and I'm gonna go ahead and poke it through now. You can make a hole, but because this brad is so small, I'm just gonna poke mine through now. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. So make sure you lift this up so you don't pierce your top pocket. And I'm just gonna eyeball it like that. And I just stuck it right through. Uh-oh, I put this on my outside page a little too far. So I'm gonna have a hole because I don't want it to overlap. Hold on. Okay, good, you can't see the hole. I actually made a hole. Interesting, I picked a, a brad that only has one leg. <laughs> Do I have another one? Oh, there it is. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna leave it because it's fine. But let me just show you when it's closed. It's just gonna go like that. So you just wanna make sure when you have your page that it's not hanging over the edge too much when you're going like this. I guess it could hang over. I just didn't want it like right in the middle. That would have looked weird. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And I wanna put this little front vellum pocket on. And I didn't do any scores because I wanted to keep this really simple. I originally did on this and I was like, no, let's make this really easy. So this is just gonna be a vellum. If you don't have vellum, just use regular paper. It's two and a half by five inches. And I am using my printed vellum that I just am obsessed with. So, okay. I had to remember which side I put the opening on. I'm just kind of putting it on not so clean as usual. <laughs> and just stick it on there. Cause I mean, this is such a flat mail. We really don't need those. Uh, deep scores, you know what I mean? And so it's just gonna look like that and I'm just gonna tuck something in to make it look pretty. And I'm not digging too many bees on the front page. I would have rather had them, but I had just done my score backwards. So just be careful with your paper. It just says happy spring. And I'm gonna grab some of these stickers let me see what I got here I just want to put a sticker that looks springy I love that lettering I wish I had something like that I, wonder if, I almost put this on my first album let's see how it looks here yeah that will look really pretty here so I just put a sticker here and I want to put something here but I don't have the lettering like I had, so let me see. This is spring makes me happy. No, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I have the circle lettering, but this might be too big. Let me see. Yep, that's gonna be too big. This is pretty, this little bunting one. Let's see. Oh no, hold on, let me fix that. It's because I didn't put both my brads in. I promise that won't happen to you if you put this on right the first time. Okay, I got them both in there. They're not gonna fall out now. Okay. So it's like that. That looks pretty. And then get the 
rest out of the way. And remember, because you will kind of open this and keep forgetting that this is there. Flip it over so you don't have that problem. Now let's go ahead and do inside. And I'm just going to put something right here. It's too circle-y. Oh, let me see. I'm just trying to cover up some of those bees to break it up. Okay, when we open it here, this I just literally put scraps of vellum on the front. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted it to break up and make it a little softer. Just FYI, it's two and a half by three and a half inches. So if you want, just to break it up, you can add a little piece of vellum on there. And I didn't score it or anything, you can. Did my glue dry already? Again, you can just like you know, do that so you don't have a hard line. I'm gonna add a sticker here. Let me see which one. Oh no. I'm gonna save that circle one. That circle one's a good one, but I just don't know what for yet. Maybe I'll just put that right here. And then let's do our inside book. And that's pretty easy. That is just a, I made it a little smaller, but it's a four and three quarter by nine and a quarter paper. And I just folded it in half. So I made it a little shorter so that there wasn't any problems when you close it. And this is the, oh, you know what I forgot to show you? I actually left the top open, so there's another little pocket here. I just forgot to put something in it. So you don't have to do that. You can glue it down or you can leave it and have something on the top. So, or you can make this another pocket. I almost did that. I almost made this just one big pocket. So that's just a few ideas. So I'm not gonna actually glue this all the way on. I'm just gonna glue it around this way and stick it on so we have that top pocket there. And so it'll be open right up here. And let me find a cover for that. Keep growing. I wanna make it colorful to make up for the, for the bumblebees. Okay, we'll use this one. You could even make this a pocket, actually. You could put this down and just keep the side open. So if you wanna go pocket crazy on this, you can do that. I'm just gonna leave mine and just keep it like I had made the first album. Are you guys ready for spring? I am definitely ready for spring. So it just looks like that with a little bit of glue. And then here I just made a simple little vellum pocket and wait, actually, no, let's do inside here. So inside here is another pocket and that is just going to be two and a half by four and three quarters. So two and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm just going to put that down right here. Again, you can just leave it and make it a card. It doesn't have to have a million pockets. But I just thought that's what made this album really fun. Okay, and then right here is just, I did a three by three and a quarter paper and I just glued that on. So 
I'm going to use a little notch here just to put that in there. That is off a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. I'm just going to place that here. And then let me find something to go inside. Oh, I have some of the uh, little pieces here. My desk is out of control. Since we're doing a little bit of quotes, this looks like something that maybe can go in there. It's a bit smaller, but when you add the little circle, so I just took my little one inch circle punch, or wait, there was another. I found a little piece that was like one inch, but I don't see it. I probably dropped it. So just took my little punch and kind of made a thing. I wanted to see what it looked like with a glitter, so I'm doing it with a glitter one. Let's just see. I don't know if I'm going to regret this. No, you can't ever go wrong with glitter, right? You have that little tab and you can just pull it out because this is going to fit. Make sure your, your thing's one inch and then that, and then you can pull that in. Okay, and I'm just going to put something here. I'm going to add a sticker. Here that just says... I love spring. So that really broke up a lot of the bumblebee going on. Okay, I didn't make a tag, which I wish I had made a tag for that little pocket in there. But you know what? I had done this. I'm just going to stick this in there. But sometimes people put little pieces like that, right? And then we just got to do our back pocket. But hold on. Let me stick one on the top. So you guys know that there is a pocket there. And I forget, the small side is closed first, not the large side, but I just have a habit of closing that side first. Okay, and then you have your back. So here, going to make another like circle. This is a 5 8 inch. This is a very old recollections punch. But you can use any size. And I'm going to you know what? For the people who don't have eyelets and things, I'm going to use a brad today. I feel like I'm going to need to punch it though. Oh no, I didn't. It went right through. So of course you can use your eyelet punch, but I'm just gonna do that for people who don't have the eyelet punch. Is it even? No, but that's all right. I'm poke, pop that down. I just wanna push this up. That's okay. I'm just gonna leave it so I don't tear it. And this is good for the little four by four journaling cards. They fit good in here. It'll go perfect in there. And there you go. Such a fun little 12 by 12 paper uh, thing. And look at how many things you can do with it. You guys obviously know you can add your own. Hold on, I'm gonna switch it out to paint. I feel like this needs more color. 
you have so many little tuck-ins and pockets and something here I feel like this is too plain so let's put something right there too this is so pretty I love this sticker a lot <laughs> I just love the pastel rainbow so here we go all complete a really fun Saturday little flip book I know you guys are gonna love doing this oh look at that glue's coming off. Actually, you know what? I had glued this down both, but with this coming up, I actually kind of like that better. Um, even though this was an accident, instead of gluing it down, I feel like you have a little bit more wiggle room. So if you're watching this to the end, I would probably do that. Um, leave these open and then it's not such a tight like pocket. All right, guys. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. And I have a, some fun news coming soon in March, which I'm so excited to announce. But I have to keep it under wraps till then. And I don't know. I'm just really excited about it. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.